Hey everybody, good morning from Bay Lake. We're with Tom Whitehead, uh, Classic Bass Tournament Champions here. Tom, let's talk about topwater fishing a little bit. You know, a lot of people, a lot of people just want to go out and have fun, and everybody hears about topwater fishing and how fun a bite that can be. So let's talk to me about that a little bit. What, do, what does a guy do? What's he look for? Well, it's this time of year in the fall, we look for a day just like this. Cloudy, you know, a little bit of a wind, um, the fog, this is great. Old timer once told me if you can go out and the humidity is so thick you can cut the air with a knife, that's, that's when you want to fish top water. Um, you know, on a lake like this, we've got pads right here and a flat's out in front of it, that's an ideal spot. If you've got a flat area that, that goes out, you know, maybe drops off seven, eight feet and goes out 30, 40, 50 yards from shore, uh, in the fall, the flats are where the, the big schools of fish are probably going to be hanging out. And uh, like I said, overcast is better. You don't want super windy, but a little chop is kind of nice. If I had to add three topwater baits that I want to have in the boat to, to do that kind of presentation, what would they be? Well, the first one would be a popper of some sort. Something that, you know, pops, you know, more compact. We're talking like a, a smaller bait. style bait, yep. correct. Um, after that, you'd want kind of a walking bait, which is more of like a spook type bait. And then uh, after that, you know, I would say it'd be a toss up between a buzz bait or I, I've really gotten into the last couple of years fishing the whopper plopper style baits. You know, Berkeley makes a chopo, I think it's called. Um, it's a bait with a spinning tail. Yep. It was kind of de evolved from a musky bait. They downsized mm -hmm. it. Another one that's kind of overlooked is, and, and I do it, and, and the guy I fish team terms with does it quite a bit, is uh, just a frog out in the open water. People fish frogs in the tight cover, but frogs this time of year, out away from everything, it, it, it's surprising how many fish you'll catch. And uh, we'll throw them in the reeds this time of year and out on the flats, and you'll, you'll get some pretty good, pretty good strikes. You have some pretty good days if it's, if it's cloudy and overcast like today is. Well, get out there, folks. There you go, Tom Whitehead. <laughs>